to come to the monastery, as John Sawat used to call this place, it was a quiet corner. We need to get away from the world so we can look at our own minds and figure out what we're doing, why we're doing it. Because when there's a lot going on around us, it's hard to see. Someone else says something and then very quickly goes into your mind, and then you're not sure, was this my idea or somebody else's idea? You see people acting in certain ways, and you think, well, this is how human beings have to act, and so you act along those ways. So it's good to step out and learn how to create a quiet corner in your own mind that you can take back with you when you return. So while you're here, you want to be quiet both in body and in mind. Quiet in body means you know, when, when the work is done, everyone goes back to his or her place, meditates, and you look at your mind. And this is where the lack of quiet is really important, because there's a lot of, a lot of voices in the mind. It's not like you're there alone. There's voices from the past, voices from this person, that person, comments in the, in the present moment, your cravings for what you want in the future. There's a huge crowd in there, so you want to learn how to pare down the crowd. At the very least, get everybody together with the idea that you want to get the mind focused on the breath right here, right now. So if it's a voice from the past and it's just really insistent, try to reason with it in such a way that it brings you into the present moment. And if it's a craving about the future, then you remind yourself that whatever happens in the future, you're going to need alertness, you're going to need mindfulness, you're going to need discernment. And how are you going to build those things if you don't build them right now? This way you can get the various voices to calm down, at least for a little while and give you a chance to find some quiet time to create your little quiet corner right here, your spot in the body where the mind feels most comfortable to be focused, where the breath feels refreshing, and you can spread that sense of refreshment out in all directions, all throughout the body. That can be your quiet corner. Then you learn how to maintain that. Even as you go back and do chores in the course of the day, deal with other people, try to maintain that quiet corner. If it's hard to maintain it here, how are you going to have any hope out in the outside world? So try to do your best while you're here and get really good at it. So you've got that spot inside that's not affected by other people's voices or even by the voices in your own mind. You can watch the voices come, you can watch them go, but they're not you. You don't have to get involved. You get involved only when you see it's really necessary and really useful. Having that quiet corner puts you in a position where you can choose. Otherwise, whatever comes up in the mind, you just jump right in. It's like a car drives up. You jump right in the car and see where it's going to take you. Well, it can take you all kinds of places. You better check first. Okay, where is this going? Who's driving it? That way, if you don't want to go with it, you just let it pass. Then you can stay in your quiet corner. So do your best while you're here, while you're in the outside quiet corner. To develop this quiet corner inside the mind. <laughs>